Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Miss Stigmat here, and we are back with a Pokemon Go news update. And I gotta say, this season and all of its updates are gonna be some of the best Pokemon Go has seen in the last couple years. So we're gonna start off with the season news. This video's gonna be a little longer because there's a lot of info, but I'm telling you it's worth it because I'm really excited because they're adding my favorite Pokemon into the game. So let's get right into it. So welcome to Season 9, which is with Mythical Wishes. So it starts December 1st at 10 a.m. And it goes all the way until March 1st. So it's a whole three months, as usual. There's a little trailer, which will be on the article link. I'm not going to really show it because it's kind of long. But it basically just shows a lot of Hoenn Pokemon, as well as like a shooting star in the background, which is Jirachi. And at the very end, they tease Primal Groudon and Kyogre, which you now have confirmation that we'll be at the Hoenn Tour. So let's get into the uh, season details before we get into all the big events. So what to look forward to the seasons? We have go tour, events, new features, and seasonal encounters. We'll scroll down and we get to Pokemon Go Tour 2023. So it'll be about Hoenn. So it says Pokemon Go Tour returns to 2023 in Las Vegas, and it will be global as well. It says get ready to head to Las Vegas and have a chance to catch most of the Pokemon from Hoenn of ruby and sapphire or experience the adventure globally the following weekend so pokemon ruby and sapphire the third generation of pokemon released on the game boy advance trainers first encounter encountered the legendary pokemon kyogre and groudon in these games trainers who attend either event will be able to choose between a ruby ticket or a sapphire ticket the choice will give you different options for your adventure we will release more information later to help you make your decision you can purchase tickets now to take advantage of a special early bird discount Offer ends on Saturday, December 31st, so you have probably about a month to figure out what you're going to do. I'll check the details as well, go through it really quick. So, Go Tour is in 80 days and 20 hours in Las Vegas. Comes February 18th through the 19th. So, the details state, uh, Trainers, your favorite Pokemon from the Hoenn region of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire are coming to Sunset Park. It will arrive in Las Vegas in February 2023. Don't miss your chance to play Pokemon Go with thousands of other trainers from around the world while catching, trading, and battling with your favorite Pokemon. Who, know, who knows which rare Pokemon you will encounter during the Pokemon Go Tour Hoenn Las Vegas. So the early bird discount is $5 off the live event ticket. You do have to pay for airfare and all that good stuff, you know, hotel rooms. So you got to start planning now. It's from 10 to 6 p.m. Uh, your local time there in Las Vegas. So starts 18th and 19th same details as before so here's all the details on the tickets i'll leave this on screen if you want to pause it and check it out it's a lot of info just about how tickets work you can get ticket add-ons as well right there is shiny jirachi teaser very nice to see so if we scroll down we can see event gameplay i'm guessing not everyone's going to vegas so i'll just scroll through it pretty quickly because obviously there can only be so many people there so, Shining Surprises, new data is coming. This seems Professor Willow stumped. It looks like trainers taking part in the Las Vegas event will have an increased chance of encountering shiny Pokemon from Hoenn. So, if you go to the in-person like event, you get higher shiny odds than anywhere else. Primal Surges, so Ground and Kyogre are surfacing, bringing the might of the Earth and the Sea with them. So, we have Pri Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon, which are going to be some of the best Pokemon in Pokemon Go. These will be available in the global event as well, which we will get to shortly. And the masterwork research is wish granted. Wishes can come true. Just ask Jirachi. Sega holding trainers in Las Vegas will be able to access the masterwork research and have the first chance to encounter shiny Jirachi. It's loading because it's just so powerful. I can't wait to see it. So this will be available as well for the global, but you'll have to pay for it because the global event is actually free. So you have to pay for the masterwork research, which I'm pretty sure is normal. And there's shiny Jirachi loading up the top. Looks really nice. Instead of the blue little tickets, it's red. So pretty nice to see. The following Pokemon will be in raids. So these will be in the in-person event. We have all the Deoxys forms, which can be shiny. As well as the Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon. Pretty cool to see. So obviously this is all just Las Vegas, so I'm pretty sure. So there's the habitats. They're doing the rotating hours. New shinies will be shiny unknown H, shiny Surskit. Shiny Gulpin, Shiny Torkoal, Shiny Cagnia, Shiny Tropius, and Shiny Relicanth. Those regionals are going to be extremely rare, so if you can do some eggs, they will be in those, which we're about to see down here. 2K is all baby Pokemon and starters, makes sense. 5K eggs are some new shinies. 7Ks are some older but more useful shinies. 
and the 10Ks are the regionals. Nice to see. Scroll down, and here are the uh, live bonuses. You get Latios and Latios from pitchers, which is cool. You get them really low level, which is unusual for them. Timed research, you get some spin to stuff, and some field research for mega energy, and some in-game bonuses. So here are all the bonuses if you're going to Las Vegas. So more Stardust, more Trades, Shiny Odds, Egg Distance, Bonus Raid Passes, and Incense. New features and items will be coming soon. They will be giving more details, and I will make a video when that releases. So we can scroll down here, probably past all the Vegas stuff. Let's see. I'm pretty... Oh, I got to click up here. I'm still used to navigating their site. They changed it a little bit, which... It's nice. It's more user-friendly. I'm just confused. Go to event gameplay. It should be up here. So yeah, if you go to Vegas as well, you have a Team Rocket story to take care of. I forgot to tell you guys that. And here's all the details. Alright, I'm trying to navigate the site. There we go. I figured it out. We got it. So latest news. That was pretty much everything, I think, for the events. We saw the seasons. The leaderboard is just for PvP, which... There you go. Those are all the good trainers that are battling. If you're on that list, GG. It's a very hard grind. The events. So they only have a couple posts right now for December, but it's Community Day, which will be the wrap-up of everything. Should be on here. Yeah. So these are all the dates. If you want to screenshot these, put these in your calendar. These will all be for Community Days, so the 17th and 18th of December. January 7th, which is a Saturday. January 21st for a Classic, which is also a Saturday. And Sunday, February 5th, here are the other events as well. Saturday, December 3rd, which will be the Mega Raid Day, which we're going to get to in a second. Like I said, a lot of info. Saturday, December 10th and 11th is an event, as well as the 24th and the 25th. So that's that little mini article. Community Day, not sure what it is yet. Here are just all the dates. So there's the Hoenn Tour. Those are the 25th and 26th, as well as the 18th and 19th. All right, community day map. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. That just shows where all the meetups are around you. Here's what I'm looking for. I found it. Okay. This is the big news. It was dropped yesterday. Mega Sceptile, Mega Blaziken, and Mega Swamper debut in Heading to Hoenn Mega Raid Day. Not sure why the pictures aren't loading very well, but they are on the thumbnail. And these Megas are going to be really cool and pretty useful as well. So, let's make sure it's still good. All right. Trainers, a raid day inspired by the first part in Pokemon of Hoenn is coming to kick off the season and celebrate the announcement of Pokemon Go Tour Hoenn. Join us for Heading to Hoenn Mega Raid Day, featuring the debuts of Sceptile, Blaziken, and Swampert's Mega Evolutions. Mega Sceptile, Mega Blaziken, and Mega Swampert Energy won't be available again until Go Tour Hoenn, so make sure you take advantage of this opportunity. So this event is on Saturday, December 3rd, which is this weekend, from 2 to 5 p.m. local time. The Mega Debuts will be Mega Subtile, Mega Blaziken, and Mega Swampert. You have an increased chance of getting their their main form shiny after you defeat the raid and complete it. So that's a pretty nice little bonus. The event bonuses, Subtile will know Frenzy Plant, Blaziken will know Blast Burn, and Swampert will know Hydro Cannon when you catch them from the raids. You can get five additional passes from spinning gyms. You have an increased chance of encountering the shiny Subtile, Blaziken, and Swampert. The exclusive ticket you can get for $5 US or your equivalent um, currency or price. You'll be able to purchase a ticket for the following bonuses. So these are from 2 to 10 p.m. that same day. So you can go out as well after to get these bonuses. You get 6 additional raid passes for a daily total of 12, which is pretty good. Increased chance of getting rare XL candy, 50% more XP from raid battles, and double stardust from raid battles. Don't forget, you're now able to purchase and gift tickets to anyone that is great friends or higher. That's pretty much all the big stuff. It's in the shop. You can buy it when the event's getting close. It might even be out now. So you can go check out the shop. And I think that's just about it for the news that they released. We have the Go Battle League stuff. I'm just going to scroll through it because I'm not a big PvP person. I know some of you guys probably are. So here's the schedule for all the different leagues. A lot of Great League, then Ultra, then Master. All the leagues there, more great, Ultra, the Master, all the way up till March. Classic Cups are gone, so that's okay. Mythical Wishes go Battle Days, so January 14th until January 15th at 11.59. So you got two days for that event. So you get Quadruple Stardust from Win Rewards. The minimum sets will be increased to 20 for a total of 100 battles for those two days. Pretty nice to see. 
timed research. So you'll have to battle to earn all these rewards. You get XP, rare candy, rings inspired by Steven Sohn. That's pretty cool. And an elite charge TM. Nice to see. Active leagues. The following leagues will be active. Great, Ultra, and Master. The Go Battle Day Vulpix will be February 12th until... Well, that'll be the whole day, actually. Full 24 hours to get the Shiny Vulpix. Same bonuses. Quadruple Stardust. 100 battles. Nice to see. Guaranteed Encounter. All web rewards from Premium Check will be will be reward encounters, so that's cool. You have an increased chance of encountering shiny bolt picks. So if you miss this one from the Kanto event or any of the various events, now's the chance to get it. Timed research, so you get XP, rare candy, a bolt picks encounter, and an elite charge TM. Nine tails, you can get the fast attack ember. Not sure how useful that is, I think it gets fire spin, which is already better, but it's a unique move, you can probably use it in PvP a little better. The active leagues for this uh, specific battle day, the Ultra League and the Love Cup which would probably be for Valentine's Day. Guaranteed rank up encounters, so as you're battling, you get encounters. So it's cool, you get Matang and Marini for rank 1. And then for Ace, Veteran, Expert, and Legend, you get Axu, Noibat, Gumi, and Pikachu Libre, respectively. Nice to see Pikachu Libre in there. Can be shiny. If you get one of those, make sure to tweet it at me. My Twitter's in the description. Would like to see it. Standard encounters, I'm not going to read them all because there's just a lot. I'll scroll through them. Basically, the higher rank you are, the better stuff you get. Like, there's a Zui Sneasel, 5-star raid boss at rank 20. So, probably for the home tour, if you get there, you'll get Deoxys encounters, which is pretty sweet. Timed research pass, you can get these in the shop as well. You know, it's the standard. You know, you get Stardust for winning 100 battles. And you get at least Fat CM at 400 wins and an Elite Charge Team at 500 wins. So, good luck. I didn't even complete the first page. So, you can get Ace rank. You'll receive Rings by Steven Stone. It's all Steven themed, which is nice to see for the Hoenn Tour. At rank 19, you'll get an Elite Charge TM. You'll also receive an Elite Fast TMs, the end of season reward. Well, we got something to look forward to. I might be able to get up to 19. The Cups, so here's everything. Great League, Great League Remix that bans basically everything good, or more used anyway. Ultra League, Ultra Premier, Ultra Premier Classic, Master League, Master Premier Classic, Master League Mega Edition, Fighting Cup, so bans these guys. Holiday Cup, Great League Edition, Holiday Cup Ultra League, the Weather Cup, Electric Cup, Love Cup, and the Hoenn Cup. I gotta say, if you're an active PvP player, good job keeping you know tabs on all those, because I have no idea what any of those are. So, good luck. I only know like the main three. Attack changes, so they updated Wing Attack, Poison Fame, and Charm. So they do Energy Cost Increased, Energy Generation Increased, and the Power for Charm got decreased. New Moves. These are cool to see, actually. Tyrantrum gets Meteor Beam, which is pretty useful. Nice Rock type. Dusclops gets Poltergeist, which is brand new from Litwick's Community Day. Same with uh, Gorgeist. And we get some more different moves here. Ampharos gets Brutal Swing. So, that's everything. Covered all the news. You can get your tickets for the in-person in Vegas event. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you got some good info here and appreciated it. Make sure to let me know in the comments below if you're hyped for the Hoenn Tour. Check out my socials, and I will see you guys again back here with another video. So good luck with your adventure for the meantime, and I will see you guys again very soon.